The number one tip for keeping your baby warm and safe while sleeping in a tent is going to surprise you. I'll give you my biggest piece of advice for camping with your baby later in this video. I'm Meg Atterbury and I've been camping with my child since she was seven weeks old. She's almost two now and we've done it all. Overlanding, tent camping, backpacking, and my favorite, camping in our pop-up camper. The number one question I get asked the most often is what do I do about sleep? First, I'll level with you. You can have a terrible night's sleep camping, trust me, but you can also have a terrible night's sleep at home. Here's what you should do to keep your baby warm. Kids under six months have limited options when it comes to sleeping bags. Our family is a huge fan of the Morrison sleeping bags and our baby fit into her little Mo at around four months old, but she was a bit bigger. If the baby's head won't slip into the bag when it's zipped up, then the little Mo is a great bet. We had the synthetic one, but if I had to do it all over again, I would have buy the 20 degree down bag for peace of mind. Prior to that, she used a synthetic line sleep sack that fit more snugly. I live in the mountains of Colorado and chili temps are a constant concern for me, even in the summer. A lot of people swear by the Wolino layers, but frankly, those were not in our budget. And considering your baby is gonna plow through clothing sizes in the first year, it just didn't seem worth it. We used fleece onesies with zippers for easy nighttime changes. We put on socks, usually the thick fuzzy ones on her hands and feet on cooler nights. If it was really cold, I would put her in a double fleece layer and just size up for the second layer. It does make diaper changes a total pain though. Our pediatrician advised against wearing beanies at night because babies regulate a lot of their temperature through their heads. If it was cold enough for us to need to sleep in a beanie, we just stayed home. Next up is where to sleep. When our baby was little, we co-slept. It just eased our anxiety and made late night routines really quick and simple. This obviously isn't for everyone, and for what it's worth, we don't co-sleep at home. The big rule here is to make sure your child is sleeping on an insulated surface. You do not want to use a pack and play that has an air gap between the mattress and the floor. That air will get cold and make the mattress really uncomfortable. We use a guava lotus travel crib after our daughter was around four months old, and it sits directly on the ground. In order to insulate her from the ground, we simply put a Thermarest Z-Lite foam pad under the crib. I've got two more mega quick tips for you to help you have a better night's sleep with your baby while camping. Number one is invest in a blackout shade for your crib. A breathable blackout shade like the Snoozy shade has saved our lives so many times. Makes naps super easy and bedtime a lot simpler. The next big tip is to bring a portable noise machine. Portable noise machines block out a lot of sounds around camp. This is really great if you're in a campground and it actually helps you sleep better too. I've got links to all the products I highly recommend down in the show notes. My biggest tip is to just try. Go into the situation with a flexible mindset. We packed up all of our belongings for a simple overnight in the mountains when our child was seven weeks old and utterly panicked. I am not a nervous person, but the thought of just unpacking all of that stuff was so daunting I could not fathom how we were actually going to camp. But we persevered through the situation and our daughter has been on countless trips ever since. If you want even more resources for how to get into camping with a tiny human, sign up for my newsletter down in the show notes. Take a video in the rain. Oh. We didn't quite epic though. We could have. We almost we almost 